Okay, Yogi Garigov, let's talk about Russia a little bit first before we go to Ukraine a little bit. Tell me about Russia a little bit. Yeah, the Russia a little bit, actually, the idea came from the from uh, our participating, uh, me and my friends, in the World Lopet races. In fact, we started uh, uh, taking part in uh, big uh, world races, uh, you know, in the 90s. And uh, in five, seven years, I got an idea to, to create something similar uh, here in Russia to share the experience, to share our practice and pleasure and so on and so on. And uh, in 1998, I founded, uh, I have found uh, the Russia Lopet as an organization and as a calendar, as a series and as a set of uh, uh, high-end competitions. So I combined the best uh, races at that moment and uh, lately uh, the new new races was organized and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, involved uh, them uh, into our organization. And you have 19 races? Uh, uh, currently, yes. So we started at about 19, uh, 11, uh, 12, but currently, yeah, we have 19 races in seven uh, regions uh, of Russia. From Murmansk to Voronezh, I mean, from the north to south, uh, and from Moscow to Kamchatka, from the west to east. So we have 19 races. And as a European, if, if a European wants to come here uh, from Germany or from Scandinavia, which races should they go to? 19 is obviously too much for yes, them. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I would uh, suggest, uh, of course, uh, the most promoted at that moment in World Lopet uh, and or in skiing world uh, is German Marathon as a, as a member, as a member of a World Lopet organization. Uh, but uh, there are also other races and other regions uh, could be... Uh, interest, attractive for the foreign participants like uh, uh, Yekaterinburg, for example. It's a uh, Europe-Asia race that uh, have a, has a course from A to B. It's like Vazalopet or other race like Birke uh, um, starts in Asia and finishes in, in uh, Europe or, or opposite, I, I don't remember. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's a good city, so it's a lot of sightseeing uh, things, so something to, to look at. Uh, another race uh, was actually a week ago in Murmansk. It's a north, it's a, the only one race uh, above polar cycle uh, in Russia. And uh, it's most traditional, I would say. It, it, that was 41, 41st edition of the marathon and 80s. Uh, edition of North Festival, so it's it's like a Polar Olympic, Pol Pol Polar Olympiad, we call uh, it like that, and uh, it says it has a huge tradition, huge tradition, and uh, in other race, uh, I I would recommend Kamchatka is also good because of uh, the nature you can meet, you know, while you you train or ski there or run, you can meet even bear who waked up after the winter, you know, and, uh, okay, it's dangerous, but it's, it's fun, and, uh, and so on. So there are many volcanoes around, uh, sometimes, some of them alive, and uh, hot springs, and so on. So, uh, and, uh, of course, here, in Siberia, yeah, and uh, the most uh, rich region of Russia, actually, I, 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 I don't know exactly, but from 70 to 80 percent of the Russian oil is here in Hantamansisk region. So, so, so it's, it's a most rich, most rich territory in the world, probably even. And, uh, and you can see how, how from the second step, so we organized that race, Ugraski, I'm now talking about Ugraski. We started it last year as a first uh, try. And already at the second season, we have stars even from Switzerland, from Finland, um, from German and so on, from Austria. Um, many stars from different Russian regions. Olympic uh, champion Alexander Lichkov uh, got a podium. Uh, so organizers, uh, they do a lot. They do a lot to promote themselves, to do the good sport and, uh, and to host uh, the good event. They have a, and the, the important thing that the even governor is a proud of that job. So it, every, every level uh, is involved. That's the that's point. You mentioned that this is a rich uh, region and you can see they're handing out a lot of money, 60,000 altogether. So uh, how is that possible? How do they make money if they hand out that much money? <laughs> yeah, well, it's a question of, uh, in Russia, uh, when you own, 
Yeah, it, it goes from tradition, like from the history of Russia. When you, when you earn, uh, for example, 100, you can spend 10 uh, to the church to, to, to give somebody, to somebody who is poor probably, or, you know, it's, it's not marketing. It's not because of marketing. It's kind of mission, yeah? And Hans Mansis, they won the gold medal at 50K. So it's a mission for them to, um, to promote the sport, uh, it's like they go now on spiral. Yeah, they would they would probably get two medals on next Olympics because the team is very strong. Uh, I mean, regional team. It's it's uh, almost half of Russian national team here, and uh, yeah, they they just they they don't calculate money as itself. You know, right now they they do they see they see whole picture. So you would definitely then recommend a lot of Europeans to come here because prize money, good organization. It's a nice race. Yeah, I would. I would recommend uh, f for the stars. Definitely, yes, they will. They will compete here. Mm, you know, easy skiing nas Russian national team members like uh, like Lehkov and so on. They they, they can win yeah, to get pleasure, not only money. And uh, so, uh, if if uh, for example, I I, I was uh, last year I was just 20 minutes behind Lehkov. So and I, I take it as a flag and you know you know went through all this through all the year with that I was proud, I was proud to ski the, uh, with the star uh, you know same race, and uh, and you probably saw the prize given for age for age groups, so almost uh, you know for me almost everybody got the prize. So like 100 or 200 people, half of, half of participants, you know, got something. And uh, yeah, it's if 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 motivation is so, if the if the somebody is uh, focusing or orienting orienting um, to for the price for attention, yeah, it's 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 a good point. But uh, but touristic wise, it's it's also the reason to go there because uh, the city Hantamansis has a long history. Uh, it, it's uh, several museums there are several museums here and uh, if you would like to know or somebody would like to know the real uh, the uh, the russian culture of from 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 you know from the inner side from the beginning uh, it's here it's here and how do you see the <coughs> the future for you know for russia Lopez? how do you see it evolving and developing uh, in fact, our league is probably too big uh, to promote, uh, you know, altogether to the highest level. Of course, I, I am now uh, trying to divide, to separate a little bit it uh, on different level because not every organizer is flexible or financially good at that moment and so on. I think we will we will try to achieve uh, the average European or worldwide level with five six races that I called you, like Kamchatka, Yekaterinburg, Murmansk, Hantemansisk, uh, and uh, probably a couple of races in Moscow uh, region. So we will achieve a good level with a good uh, uh, information for tourists. Uh, and so that will be, that will show the possibility to, to get uh, the foreign participants. So, and, uh, and from that step, from that point, we will try to to be a member of uh, the, for example, Eurolopet organization. Of course, we already have, as I said, the Dominoski Marathon as a part of Eurolopet, but it's not enough. So Russia is so big and we have so many races. And uh, I think we will do, we will work in different directions. And um, that's uh, that's our future. And we would like to part, uh, to be part of the big calendar. And we would like um, to invite as many, uh, you know, Germans, Finns, Swedes, Norwegians, uh, skiers as, as possible to share the culture. Uh, we, we've spent too many years, you know, being separated. So we would like to, to be one family. And speaking of that, when they come, a uh, lot of people are probably wondering how, how can they get here because the visas and everything. How would that work? Uh, in, okay, individually, I think if you if you want to get a uh, Russian visa, for example, you you, sh you shall receive kind of invitation, then go to embassy, then wait one week, uh, pay some you know fee, and in one week, two weeks uh, maximum, you will get uh, Russian visa in every country, even in US, and uh, uh, and. Uh, from the sport point of view or from the participant point of view, to get the Russian visa, it's much easier than to get a beep of Vazalopet or Marcelonga. 
so it's still possible one month before the race you can register to the race apply for the visa receive the visa and go to russia so for us a little bit everything is disappearing in one minute and uh, then no no reason to go to sweden or to italy in case of much longer so i think this is a not a not a limitation in in case of normal planning if you if you uh, if you do the plan for the whole winter and plan to go to Hantamasi for example so you can apply to send to organization or to Russia Lopet uh, centrally uh, email uh, with application with like copy of passport you know normal things and then you receive the invitation if you do it a couple months in advance no problem so every single uh, racer, uh, no matter what level, they always need to get an invitation, though. Yes, yes. So to get a visa, unfortunately, because we are not Olympics yet. Yeah. So uh, only in Olympics case, accreditation is uh, is a visa. Yes, is a yeah. Um, but in our case, everybody shall apply for invitation. Uh, for some countries, probably has, have different rules. It's, you can re- apply for tourist touristic visa. Then you don't need a vision. You just go to the embassy and ask for the visa. So it, it's uh, it's much easier. But both both ways, uh, you know, work work well. And you will provide the invitation to everyone who wants to come. Of course, of course, we have a kind of a shape, you know, prepared uh, letter in advance, uh, approved by ne- all necessary sites and so on. We put just name, you know, and passport number. And, and, and send back. So, and PDF, PDF or works well in that case. So anyone definitely can come? Yes, everybody everybody is invited, everybody can, can come. All right, then finally, you are also an avid marathon skier yourself. You, you did the race today. Yes. But what do you think is so so good about the, the, the marathon skiing? Why is it so so tempting? Why is it so, so uh, addictive? Uh, in case, uh, I... Uh, you know, you know, skiing the race, you, uh, it's uh, like you receive the pleasure, you know, from, from every meter, from every meter. So especially here when you have a very nice weather, little bit wind, but sometimes wind from the back, you know, helps to you. And, uh, and it's, it's a challenge, but uh, it's uh, definitely benefit, a big benefit at the finish. So the pleasure is so high. And uh, of course, I broke on the pole, I broke on the pole. In the beginning, I planned to ski only 25k because of kind of some of duties and so on. But then, in the middle of the race, I said, "Okay, I, I see everything is is normal at the finish area." I said, "Okay, I, I, I could let myself to continue," so, and uh, I, I used uh, that chance, and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I did that race last year, uh, and um, skied uh, again. Yeah, it's 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 fantastic, uh, and especially in such winter as we had. Yeah, so because of lack of snow in the central region of Russia, in Moscow and so on, uh, it's it's kind of unique weekend when you can ski, uh, you know, with so wide course, like 12, 15 meters wide, uh, uh, with the stars, uh, because when for, it's also, you know, chance um, to be on same level. Even you just finished, uh, you know, even you are last, you can go to the start to Alexander Lekov to, you know, to greet him and uh, you know to to compare results. So uh, it's fun and uh, even being involved into organization and so on, uh, it's kind of doping uh, for enthusiasm. I, I would call that. It definitely is. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, and hopefully you'll get the rush a little bit really going international. Thank you very much, and I know you t- we talked before, um, and I already shared this idea, this crazy idea, of course, uh, with my colleagues, with my partners and friends. And in case any, I mean, but it is not any, but uh, it's our neighbor actually. So if if uh, the even World Lopet race would like or would wish uh, to join Rush Lopet organization. Um, we will think about uh, you know changing uh, the rules uh, because um, we are the same continent uh, and uh, we are much sometimes more closer um, in much closer relations than with other countries i'm talking now with, about finland and finland hichter so uh, all our skiers would love that would love that if we will extend our calendar and uh, to have uh, in the future the bigger league bigger league so basically, you're saying that Finland, Ehito, or maybe Vokatehito could be part of Russia. Yes, exactly, or both.
or both, of course. All right, thank you.